Hi everyone, it's Miss Tang, and today we are learning to convert between liters and millimeters. Okay, so to be successful, you will need to be able to multiply by 1000 and also divide by 1000. So we'll go through that today. Okay, so we know that in one liter, there are 1000 milliliters. And if we are changing or trying to find how many milliliters there are in a liter, then we'll need to multiply it by 1000. So for example, if we want to find out how many milliliters are there in eight liters, then all we have to do is just times it by 1000. And to do that, all you have to do is just add the one, two, three, three zeros to the end of the eight to make it 8,000. So if you're multiplying by 10, then you know that eight times 10 is 80. So you just add one zero to it. If you do eight times 100, then that's 800, because then you add the two zeros to it. And here, if you do eight times 1,000, then you add the three zeros to the end of it, and that becomes eight thousand milliliters. Now if you are swapping in between and trying to find how many liters from milliliters, so you're changing milliliters to liters, then you divide it by 1000. So for example, if you're if you've got something that's 8000 milliliters and you're trying to figure out hmm how many liters are there, then you just divide it by 1000. Okay, and then you just take away the three zeros. So you got one, two, three zeros, and then you can just take them off. And that will be eight liters. Okay, so let's have a look at this. So if 1000 milliliters equals one liter, what would five liters be in milliliters. So if we're trying to find five liters, so five liters, then you would multiply by 1000 and then to find how many milliliters. Okay, so five times 1000. So five times 1000 would be 5,000 because you're adding in the three zeros at the end of it. Okay, if 1,000 milliliters equals to one liter, then what would 2,000 milliliters be in liters? So since we're switching back to liters, then you need to divide by 1,000. So remember 1,000 has got the three zeros. So now you take away the three zeros. So how many liters would that be? So that would be two liters. So 2,000 milliliters equals two liters. So you divide if you're trying to find liters. Okay, so see if you can do this. So what is 12,000 milliliters in liters? So if you're going from milliliters to liters, then you will need to divide. So that means you'll need to take away the zeros. What is seven liters in milliliters? So if you are trying to find milliliters, then you multiply by 1,000. So you add the three zeros on. What is 1,500 milliliters in liters? So then you'll need to figure out, hmm, how could I divide it? Well, there's only two zeros here and then there's the five. So we know that 500 milliliters is half of 1,000. Okay, so then it would be half. So it would be one and a half. So let's have a look at the answers. So we've got two or 12,000 divided by 1,000 is 12 liters. Seven liters to five milliliters, you multiply by 1,000. So it becomes 7,000 milliliters. And then the last one 
would be 1.5, so one and a half liters. Okay, so let's have a look at this. So three liters in milliliters would be, so you multiply it by a thousand and it would be 3,000. So that would be 3,000 liters. Okay, so I'm just going to pop it in here. 3,000. And then if you had 4,000 milliliters, then you divide it by 1,000 and you take away the three zeros and that would be four liters for 6,500. Now, because you know that 500 milliliters is half, then you would do 6.5 liters. Now we've got 4.5 liters. So that's four and a half liters. How many milliliters is that? Well, four liters is definitely 4,000 milliliters. But then if you're putting in a half, then you need to put 500 in there as well. So do you see how 4.5 liters equals to 4,500 milliliters? Now we've got 2.1. So 2.1 liters, now two liters equals to 2,000, but now the point one represents 100. So you put in the 100 in there. So it's 2,100 milliliters. Now you're going to try to find 10,000 milliliters. How many liters is that? So if you divide it by 1,000, take away the three zeros, one, two, three, and then you're left with 10. So you've got 10 liters. All right, let's have a look at some of the activities now. Okay, for this one, this is a level one. So give it a go. The first one's already done for you. Two liters equals 2,000 milliliters. Now see if you can do the three liters. So three liters equals how many milliliters? 4,000 milliliters, how many liters? Oh, we've already done this one. So you should know that one. So 10 liters, how many milliliters? All right. This is a level two. Now this will have some decimals in there. So it will have 1.3. Now remember that if it's got a one there, it definitely has 1000 milliliters. And then if it's a three, then it's 300. So that would be 1300 milliliters. Now you've got 2700 milliliters. So you would put two point seven. Now you've got 12.9. So see if you can think about what would that be in milliliters. Let's see if you could figure out this one in liters. So if it's less than 1000, then you start it by going zero point, And then because it's 900 milliliters, then it would be 0 0.9 liters. Okay, this is a level three version now. So half a liter is 500 milliliters. Now you need to put this into liters, 4,750. So you would definitely put, so four, there's definitely 4,000 milliliters. So that's four liters. So you put four point and then it's 750. So you put 4.75. You don't have to put the zero in there. So you could just put 4.75. Now this one is 3.02 liters. So what do you think that is in milliliters? So it's definitely 3,000 milliliters, but then you need to think about what's zero two. So zero two means that there's two and then there's a, another zero at the end. It's not shown, but there will be 20 milliliters. So then when you write it all out, it's 3,020 milliliters. And then you can try this one on your own. All right, give it a go.